This video is brought to you by Filmforth. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys something really, really cool. So I got approached by the creators of Filmforth and they said they have a really, a really nice video editor for you guys to check out. It has zero watermarks, guys. It is actually completely for free. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out this software, the link is down in the description. But before you guys do, I want to first show you guys around how to use the software everything like that so after this video you guys can check out the link down in the description in order to get the software of course i'll leave all the download links down below so let's go ahead and start looking into filmforth video editor right after the intro Alright guys, so as you can see right now, this is basically the website where you will land on if you click on the first link down in the description. So it is very, very simple. So right here, you can actually read a little bit more about the product itself and the video editor itself. So right here at the very bottom, you can also see the support center if you need any help, for example. They have a YouTube channel and they also have the how-to articles. So of course, right here at the top, we're going to click on film forth. And then right here, as you can see, it says get it from Microsoft or you want to click on free download so it says no skills required totally free to use save and share without a watermark that's really really amazing guys there is literally no watermark on your video because nine out of ten softwares will have a watermark if you're not going to pay for them because you're using a trial for example and if you want to you know bypass the watermark it is simply not possible to just shrink it out because otherwise your video will be actually like you know cropped out because there is a watermark in there you try to remove it it's really really nice that you can now just go ahead and download Load film forth and I'm gonna show you exactly also how to export it out without a watermark it's really really nice and as you can see at the bottom guys you see like 1990 reviews 4.7 stars so just that you know that this is a really really highly rated software so right after you downloaded it right now you can go ahead and open it up as well all right guys so as you can see right now if you open up film forth for the very first time right here we have convert video trim video stabilize video extract mp3 and rotate video so I already made a project just just to have a little bit of a, like fun and play through. So right here, of course, you wanna always start with a brand new project. So I'm gonna hit this purple new project button and then we can actually get started with going ahead and importing our footage, applying effects, transitions, and just basically editing our video in a whole. So right here, it is a very, very simple, you know, user interface. We have our preview at the very top. And then of course we have our volume control right here as well. We have our play, you know, buttons with like play, go back, go forward, uh, and also our timeline. So right here is gonna immediately ask you to import clips. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's say that we're gonna add in a photo. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to apply filters on it, how to apply transitions on it, how to even use a chroma key. That's also very, very nice that you can go and also get the background removed. And also, of course, at the end of this video, we'll go ahead and end off with exporting it without a real watermark. It is really, really nice. So right here, we're gonna click on add video slash photo or clips. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, this is the thumbnail from a Vegas tutorial that I don't know maybe has released or will be released so if this video goes out before this anime text tutorial goes out now you're one of the first one to know what the first upcoming topics of Vegas Pro will be so right here, of course, in your timeline, you have your clip. So right here, we also have the volume button. If you're gonna click on there, it's actually gonna mute the video track, even though it says like an audio icon. If you click on there, it's gonna mute the whole track. So right here as well, below it, you can see that we have our video and our also our audio tracks. Right here at the bottom, we have all our icons that you need. We can split, you can you know adjust the duration, we can apply effects, we can crop and motion, transform, rotate, flip, duplicate, and of course, delete it from a program. Project. So let's start off with splitting. So let's say you want to make a jump cut You could just want to position your marker right here where you want to have the cut to happen Then you're gonna hit of course the split button as you know It is going to split it up into two parts. That's really really cool So right here we have this button and that's where you can also add in the transitions So if you're gonna click on there, it's gonna open up this menu where you can have like crossfades We have a circle cut. We have a circle in we have a circle out We have a gate close H. So if you're gonna click on there You can even choose the duration 
duration, you know, if you want to have it 0 0.9 seconds, you can drag it all the way up to here. You can make it faster. It's really, really nice. So now what you need to do is if you want to color grade this clip, you want to click on the effect one and then it's going to open up a ton of different filters that you can just click on and then it's going to automatically grade your clips. You don't have to go ahead and mess around with like, in, like inserting these LUT filters, exporting it or importing it into your project. It is really, really simple that you can choose from a lot of different presets that are already made for you in there. Just a nice way that you can scroll a little bit through and see what they look like. So that's it for pretty much for color grading. So you have also the different ones, but if you only want to adjust a little bit of brightness, for example, you don't have to necessarily you know, change up the color with, for example, the toaster filter. But right here, if we scroll back, Right now we can just go and for example pick the Clarendon. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna also go and crop and motion. So this is the 16 by nine resolution. I have to make sure that this one will have the original ratio because otherwise if you're going to place this one by four by three, it's gonna become a square as you can notice. So you're gonna make sure that you will always keep this one on 16 by nine just in order to keep your resolution. And then you can drag this little corner bigger or smaller depending on what you need. So let's say that you want to only crop out a certain section you can just drag this box around it's really really straightforward and then if you're done with the cropping and everything and also the motions uh, right here at the very top you see this little tab now we're going to go ahead and click on okay to actually apply the changes and then next to it it says also transform so let's say they want to scale it a lot of bigger and or even like upside down this is what the scale button does and also the rotation if you want to turn it clockwise counterclockwise or even upside down that's really really nice how you can do it or if you want to undo all your changes you want to go to the reset all button and then you can do it and hit it off from there so right now you can also flip it to let's say that you want to have it flipped vertically horizontally that's all possible in this menu at the bottom and then of course you can also duplicate it. All right guys, so it's also possible to use a chroma key. So that works with the picture in picture. So let's say that you have a clip right here. Then at the very bottom, you want to click on this icon, the blue one. Then right here, it says picture in picture. And then of course, right here, it says chroma key, but it works like in picture in picture. So I have to make sure to add in another clip, the green screen clip. So right here, it says add pick in pick and then a plus. So that's gonna prompt us the box so we can select the footage. Okay, so now of course I already have my file selected. So right here we have a nice crocodile crawling on the background of a green flat image. So let's go ahead and stretch this one and make it transparent. So right here, of course, it says chroma key. We're gonna click on there. So the chroma key is toggle on. Right here it is select color. So let's say that you have a blue background. What you can do is you can go and select it and right here you have all the colors you can choose from or you can just use this icon and then click on the preview screen to pick the desired color. And then you want to mess with the tolerance. Let's say they wanna bring it up like that. That looks really, really nice. And now we have a transparent crocodile as you can see that is crawling through the preview this green area underneath the crocodile something you have to adjust with tolerance of course and that is basically how to use your chroma key it's really really simple the most exciting part is of course right here guys where we're going to also export this out into the format that we want without also a watermark so at the very bottom right you see this icon where it says save video and then what you need to do is choose your resolution so you've got to make sure that you'll always export your video out in the resolution that you shot your video in so if you shot your video in 720p there's actually no need to add, to export it out in 1080p hoping that the quality will be better that's actually not going to improve anything so if you shot it in 720p you want to choose this one or even 4k 3840 by 2160 as the standard resolution so i'm going to pick 1080p because this thumbnail is actually made in the full hd quality the bit rate i would actually place this one all the way up to 30 megabytes per second that's actually going to be the very best one i have to mention that the actual exporting can take a little longer the more inc quality you're increasing and adding to the video the longer it's going to take you can even choose the fps so if you shot everything in 60 you can just pick the 60 fps one right here this is the function that i've been talking about in the intro why i'm so excited which is the export with a watermark you want to uncheck it let's say that we're going to call this test video without a 
watermark. We're gonna hit save and, and now the only thing we need to do is wait until the exporting is done. It goes pretty fast. As it says, it may uh, take some time to complete. Please do not close this window while exporting and then of course we won't have a watermark. So let's just give this a couple seconds and so we can actually preview that there is no like film fourth or IO fourth watermark to be found on the exported footage. All right guys, so the exporting is done. So right here you can either close this window out or show it in the folder. So I'm gonna hit this button so it automatically prompts us the explorer folder where our video is located in case you might forgot it. Let's say that you start exporting it, you went away from your computer to do something and then all of a sudden you forgot like where did you save it? On your desktop, on a hard drive, somewhere else. So that's a really, really nice shortcut to immediately jump to the folder. So if I'm gonna open up and double tap on this video. All right guys, so as you can see right now, this is the video that we just exported. So at the very top uh, left right or the bottom right or the bottom left, there is no watermark to be found guys. It is in the full quality. This is how simple it is. This is how you also use uh, film forth for basically anything else when it comes to audio editing you can also chop up audio and if you guys want to check out the software the link is of course down in the description all right guys so that's it for this video this is how to use film forth video editor the link is down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check it out thanks a lot film forth for sponsoring this video everything is down below thanks a lot for your continued support guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video